<laughs> they couldn't catch me at the airport. And maybe you ask yourself, why is he stealing an airport sign? Yeah, it's clickbait. I haven't stolen this sign, of course, but a week ago I found the absolutely cool thing on Instagram. Let me show you. Check this out, friends. I found the channel called Choo Choo and she placed an airport sign over the door in her hallway. And guess what? I thought that's exactly what I want as well. So stealing with the eyes, friends, that's what I did. Not stealing at the airport. And here we are at my hallway, friends, and guess what? That's exactly my new hallway lamp. So yeah, let me show you how I made it. But first things first, folks, as some of you might know, I'm a Team Creality and that's exactly my chance to play with the brand new K2 Plus, a super big 3D printer with a print size of 350 by 350 by 350, exactly what I need for my sign. At first I need some data, of course, and I'm going with Fusion 360 because it's free for private use. If you have private projects to construct, check it out. And what I constructed is a little light box you can see here. And I cut it in half because I need a top and a bottom shell. And the bottom shell has a little lip you can see here, so the top shell can slide on the bottom shell. Super easy, but as you can imagine, I have to cut these pieces because they are way too big for the printer. And I used a little tool, here you can see my tool, and I cut with this tool. And yeah, let me show you all the single pieces. Here they are for the bottom and the top shell. And I maximized the size of every single piece of the print size of the printer. So 350 by 350 by 350, so I can arrange them on the print bed. And yeah, when I've done that in Creality Print, I can hit print and the printer does its job and I have spare time. And the printer comes with the Creality CFS, a super helpful tool. You can load several rolls of filament and it has also an auto refill function. That means when one roll runs out of filament, it will grab another one and you will never run out of filament when doing big prints like I have. And here they are, all the pieces for the bottom shell. And if I've done my job right and the data right, they should fit piece by piece. And if yes, the next step will be the glue up. And I wish I could say it's going all according to plan, but I made a minor mistake. These parts are different. And yeah, let's find out if you can check the difference. That's what it should be. Check this out. We have an overlap which overlaps this part so I can glue it onto the next one. And I have no light leaking in the part itself. And now check this. The overlap is missing. Yeah, no overlap. I have only a small um, glue in area. And yeah, what I can do to fix this issue is I can glue a piece behind these two to fill in the gap so I have no light leaking. And I have also a bigger glue in surface. And I will send all the areas where I will apply the glue that increases the adhesion and that's exactly what I like. Do we do 3D printing or what? Yes, of course, but I need also a bottom plate for my bottom shell. And I decided to go with a metal plate because of a special reason. I like to light up my sign with LEDs and LEDs get super hot over time. And metal is able to transfer this heat super effective. That's the reason why I'm using the metal plate because it simply cools down my LEDs. And yeah, what I have to do is I have to cut it. Let's do it. Yeah, and that's one of my favorite tools, friends. I call it the Nibbler. It's a pneumatic metal shear. Super noisy, but super effective. A real boys tool. And what it does is, it goes through steel like butter. So let's put in some ear protection and let's do it.
and I also have to cut the corners which matches my 3D print so I made a paper stencil to transfer it on the metal sheet like so. And now let's try to nibble this corner. Moment of truth, friends. Will the plate fit the bottom shell or am I too stupid to do some simple measurements? And, and, ooh, tight. It's tight. Ah, it fits. And I'm gluing this construction adhesive only a little bit in the corners and that's it. Yeah, the bottom shell is looking good. Also the top shell. Let's do a quick test if they fit. Yes, they do, but now it gets a bit tricky. I found this translucent acrylic sheet in my shop and that's what I like to use. But here's exactly the issue. We have a round box, but a square acrylic sheet, but I have an idea how to cut corners. And I have also the K2 Pro in my basement shop, the smaller version of the K2 Plus. So I will print a little router chick, which I can use to route round corners. And here it is, my corner jig, and in this box is my router, so I can use the flush trim bit to cut these corners. And it's super simple, I stick my jig underneath the acrylic plate, so I have a guide. And I'm using some tape, because it's only a one-time job. I can use also a clamp, but I'm a bit afraid that I ruin my acrylic sheet when I'm using a clamp. And the tape's more than enough for these corners. My acrylic sheet is translucent as I mentioned before. Check this out. It's not transparent but it's not translucent enough for me. So I ordered also a super translucent foil, which is also matte. That's the optic I like. The plate itself is glossy. That's not what I have in mind. So we have to apply this foil and yeah, that's my next step. My boxes are built and the next step is the lighting. So what I have to do is I have to install a driver and also some LEDs. Super simple, I just have to glue them in. Let's do a quick test if I've done my wiring right and oh yeah, it seems so. And one important tip, never trust the sticky tape of these LED strips. Every chewing gum will stick better on your Jordans than the sticky tape on these LEDs. So I will add also some construction adhesive just to be sure.
and I'm loading also some new rolls of filament in the CFS to keep the printer busy because I have to print the arrows, the signs and also the letters for my light box. I like to go 3D also with the letters. I don't want to use fall, I like the 3D effect and the big print bed of the K2 Pro is perfect for this job. And the next thing to do is just a huge puzzle and the dance with the ruler to get all these signs right. And in the correct spacing. Yeah, bit time consuming, but also a lot of fun. Because now my letters are also 3D and that's what I like. It's not just a sticker, it's three dimensional with shadows and highlights. And yeah, much cooler than just a fall and the sticker on a sign. And I'm going with a combination of plastic glue and CA glue. The CA glue bonds immediately and the plastic glue long term. Yeah, super easy, so the signs won't slip, they stick immediately and that helps a lot when gluing them on the plate. And the last step is of course to mount my new floor lamp. I got a helping hand from my girlfriend because the sign is really huge and weights a little bit and here is the end result. Yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this idea. And if you are in need for a cool 3D printer, check the video description. I'll link you the machines I've used and yeah. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, goodbye.